Okay, this tutorial will cover SPM's DICOM import. This is a DICOM conversion tool, just like the DICOM to Nifty tool and AFNI's 2.3D command. It's slightly different and we'll be going through how you do this both through the SPM interface and from the command line in MATLAB. So first, let's talk about doing it through the interface. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go into this fMRI raw data directory, which has, has all these DICOM files here. And so, right here I know that runs 5 and 6 are both functional runs. Okay, so I acquired a bunch of volumes in time over a period of, I don't know, 5 or 6 minutes. I can't remember exactly. Alright, so within the SPM GUI, you see this button down here called DICOM Import. Okay, so if you just click on there, this window will come up and it will ask you what DICOM files do you want to select. Now you can select all of them and they'll each get their own DICOM conversion data set. So for example, each one of these different files will have an output nifty or image header format, whatever one you want. But you can also filter them in case you just want to convert a single run. And for these purposes, let's just say we want to convert run number 5. And I know that there's a string of five zeros, then the number five, followed by an underscore, which is specific only to files that are for run five. Okay, so if I hit enter, I see that all of these DICOM images are run five. Each one of them represents a separate volume. So you can go ahead and select all. Conversely, you can also select the top one, scroll to the bottom, and select them using shift click. Okay, And you'll see all of them are now in this selection window down here. So go ahead click done and for the output directory a dot and a backslash means the present directory. So we're going to go ahead just use that for now. Output image format you have two choices here nifty or image header. I'm going to select nifty for now. And ICEDMs you usually do not need those Often, uh, I've never come across an instance where I've needed them. If you want to find out more about them, you can look them up in the SPM manual. So converting this doesn't take very long. Again, this is not a very big data set, and we're only converting one run. So it reads them in, and now it is writing them out. If you haven't seen already, SPM has these thermometer bars to track the progress for each process. Okay, so it's done converting that run. And again, you can use the same protocol to convert all the rest of your runs. And if we type in ls, we see these new files with this f appended in front of them. Okay, this is all run 5 that's been converted to nifty. And each DICOM file has been converted to a separate nifty file. All right. Now, this may not be that... Uh, convenient because now you have a bunch of files, right? You might it just, it's hard, harder to navigate. So the best way that I can recommend to compress these into a single file is to use FSL's FSL merge tool. Now this means that you should already have FSL installed and have your SPM path pointing towards that directory. So I'm going to type in FSL merge, uh, merge them in time. And first of all, what are we going to call the output data set? Let's call it R01. And what is going to be the input? And we can use wildcard expansion here. So only files that have an F in front of them. That's what this asterisk is going to grab. And by the way, if you haven't figured this out already, an exclamation mark means escape to the system. So whatever called MATLAB. In this case, I called MATLAB from a Unix shell. So it says execute this command from the Unix shell. There, uh, details. All right, so you can see that it did, in fact, create a new gzipped file called R01. Now, in order for SPM to use this, you'll need to type in gunzip and the file name. Okay, so that's all good. And 
that, that's fine. Now with that, we can go ahead and do a bunch of other procedures on it. So that's how you do it from the SPM GUI interface, DICOM import. And I'm gonna clean all this up because I don't want it anymore. And, whoa, okay, sorry about that. Now we're gonna talk about how to do it from the command line, all right? So in other words, instead of actually typing and clicking through this interface, instead of clicking DICOM import, you can use a tool called SPM DICOM convert. Okay. But it needs a couple arguments first. It needs a list of headers, so all the header information from these DICOM files, before you can use SPM convert. Okay. So first things first, what we do is we type in a variable, let's say X, or better yet, let's say files, and we're going to use the SPM select tool. Okay. And this will be covered in a separate tutorial. Uh, these arguments are required, and then you can also provide a wildcard uh, regular expression for what files you want to grab. So very similar to what I did inside the GUI because I know that only the files with this 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5 underscore contain the run5 files. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now we can use SPM DICOM headers to read in all this header information and store it in the variable header. Okay, so DICOM headers and the files that we just ran. Okay, just showing the progress bar because reading in the headers also takes in a while, just like it did through the SPM interface. Okay, now when that's done, finally we can use SPM DICOM convert. And we're gonna feed into it this list of headers that we had just uh, processed from the previous command, SPM DICOM headers. Go ahead, click that. And again, we can click on this status bar here. And now it's writing out all of those files. Okay, you can go out and have a smoke. Should just take a few seconds. And there it's done. Okay. Great, so now once again we have the same files we had from the SPM GUI. This is just showing you the link between the SPM commands and the SPM GUI. Does the exact same thing, uses the same expressions to grab all the files you want and execute the same command. Okay. And again, just for repetition purposes, we are going to again convert this into a single file using FSL merge. Okay. And once that's done, you can go ahead and start using the SPM temporal and spatial processing commands. And always remember to unzip your gzip files. All right, and if you want to really get fancy, you can call upon one more package, AFNI, and use 3D Info to look at this output data set. Make sure that it contains all of the files that you put into it. In other words, there are 165 volumes in that run, and there are 165 subricks in AFNI. If you want to get even more fancy, use FSL Info, or, oops, I believe that's what it is. Yes, okay. And look at dimension four, which is time, and see that that's also 165, all right? And these other dimensions should correspond to the matrix you used to acquire, so about, say 64 by 64, and the number of slices in the Z direction, which is 35. And this should match up with, with what you see in AFNI's 3D info. Okay, so that was a brief tour of the SPM DICOM conversion utility, both through the GUI and the command line. And now we're going to get into the good stuff for the next tutorials. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.